Breaking news. Attempted coup in Kinshasa. Thwarted by FARDC. Early this morning on May 19th, Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, experienced a significant security breach as a group of armed men in military uniforms attacked the residence of Vital Kamerhe, the vice prime minister, minister of the economy, and a candidate for the presidency of the National Assembly. The attack began at approximately 4.30 a.m. in the upscale Gomb commune, causing a tense and dangerous situation. According to Michel Moto, the spokesperson for Vital Kamerhe and a national deputy from his party, UNC, the armed assault resulted in the deaths of two police officers assigned to Kamerhe's security detail, as well as one of the attackers. Moto assured the public via his social media account on X that Kamerhe and his family were unharmed and that their security had been significantly reinforced following the incident. The attack has also drawn international attention, particularly from the Japanese ambassador to the DRC, Hidetoshi Ogawa. Ambassador Ogawa, residing in Kinshasa, issued a cautionary statement to Japanese nationals, urging them to stay vigilant and prioritize their safety amidst the ongoing military activity in Gombe. His message underscored the severity of the situation, highlighting the continued presence of gunfire in the area as of 6.24 a.m. In the wake of the assault on Kamerhe's residence, the attackers attempted to escalate their actions by making an incursion into the Palais de la Nation, the office of the President of the Republic. This bold move was quickly countered by the Republican Guard, who apprehended several of the assailants. Notably, these attackers wore military uniforms adorned with Zaire's flag. In videos circulating on social media, they expressed intentions to change the management of the Republic. The Republican Guard responded decisively, deploying on Boulevard Chachi and positioning armored vehicles around the Palais de la Nation to secure the area. Their swift action was crucial in stabilizing the situation and preventing further escalation. The visible military presence served to reassure the public and deter any additional threats. A high-level security meeting is underway to address the breach and its implications. Authorities are expected to release an official statement soon, providing more details on the situation and measures to ensure national security. This incident has highlighted significant vulnerabilities in the DRC's security apparatus, raising questions about potential internal and external threats. The attempted coup underscores the ongoing political instability and the fragile security environment in the DRC. While the immediate threat has been neutralized, the incident will likely prompt a thorough review of security protocols and reinforce protective measures for key government officials and institutions. The rapid and effective response by the FARDC and the Republican Guard has been crucial in maintaining order and preventing what could have been a catastrophic event. This dramatic episode is a stark reminder of the DRC's challenges as it navigates its complex political landscape. The situation remains fluid, and further updates will be provided as more information becomes available. The international community closely monitors the developments, emphasizing the need for stability and the rule of law in the region. Christian Malanga Musumari, the mastermind behind this morning's attempted coup in Kinshasa, was a prominent and controversial figure in Congolese politics. Born in Kinshasa on February 2, 1983, Malanga was a former military officer who moved to the United States with his family. His political journey took a significant turn after his involvement in the 2011 parliamentary elections, leading him to establish the United Congolese Party, PCU, a national political party aimed at reforming the Congolese political landscape. His political activism extended internationally when he was named the first ambassador of the International Roundtable on Religious Freedom in 2013. In a dramatic move in 2017, Christian Malanga declared the formation of a government in exile called New Zaire in Brussels. This bold act of defiance marked him as a key opposition figure against the ruling regime in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Malanga remained out of the public eye for several years, presumably working on his political strategies from abroad. 
His sudden reappearance during today's violent attack at the Palais de la Nation was both shocking and indicative of his ongoing ambition to influence Congolese politics through radical means. This morning's attack saw Malanga lead an armed group in a bold attempt to overthrow the current regime. Dressed in military uniforms to disguise their true identities, the attackers targeted the residence of Vice Prime Minister Vital Kamerhe. Briefly, they occupied the presidential seat at the Palais de la Nation. The attack was swiftly countered by the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo, FARDC, who managed to neutralize the threat and restore order. According to security sources, Malanga was killed in the confrontation, marking a violent end to his long-standing opposition to the Congolese government. The death of Christian Malanga in this failed coup attempt highlights the ongoing volatility and challenges within the DRC's political sphere. His life, marked by military service, political activism, and radical opposition, underscores the country's deep-rooted issues. While his demise may quell immediate threats, the underlying tensions and divisions he represented are likely to persist, necessitating vigilant efforts by the government to ensure national stability and security. Les forces armées de la République démocratique du Congo portent à la connaissance de l'opinion nationale et internationale qu'une tentative de coup d'État a été étouffée dans l'œuf par les forces de défense et de sécurité. Cette tentative a impliqué des étrangers et des Congolais. Ces étrangers congolais ont été mis hors d'état de nuire, leur chef y compris. Les forces armées de la République démocratique du Congo demandent à la population de vaquer librement et tranquillement à ses occupations. Les forces de défense et de sécurité ont la parfaite maîtrise de la situation. Nous y reviendrons avec force détail et image à l'appui. C'est bon. Merci. Oh, tu sais déjà. Eh. Eh, le pouce à peine. Le pouce à peine. Par contre, c'est un adipe. Eh, par contre, c'est un adipe. Mélanger. Non, bah non. Et va quand même de l'école. This says only me. Huh? It says only me. Only me. Oh, now public. Okay. Yes. Hey, 
Katika siya baza la bako tama kampoto lebi. Mbapuwa za na mkema mbapuwa za na mkema toche ba na biso. Tokota mwana baka mende, tokota mwana baka Felix te. Basa ni kuzo ba mina kata mboka na biso. Ingeta! 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 Ing Tocou lhe na diaspora, tocou lhe libanda. Por manhã na casa tem um grupo mais moral a caminhar. O tal libanda lá só anda para só viver. Eis a normalidade. O tal ele faz o que só viver. Eis a normalidade. Felix, you out. Felix, take us. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Okay. Eis a normalidade. Eis a normalidade. 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 O mundo não existe mais. O mundo não existe mais. Maintenant c'est les Aïrs. 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 Dégage Ingeta! 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 Fuck, it's jammed. It's not for me. Okay. 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 Tu as parlé de la nation Sikoya. Zahir Oye Zahir Oye De Moi quoi ma talico, la talico, les zaranines. Zahir, Bana Zahir. Bana Zahir, Felix, we're coming for you, nigga. Felix, Felix. What part you have from Wala? Zahir Oye Zahir Oye Zahir Oye Zahir Oye Pamfulusi Oye Pamfulusi Oye Pamfulusi Oye Ingeta Est-ce que vous voulez pas le souvenir Tu peux présenter la structure. Il y a un peu de temps. 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 Il y a